Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Ian here. Uh, I just recorded this whole video, but I forgot to switch my microphone to the correct one, so it was totally silent. And as much as silent movies are great, they don't really help as tutorials. So here we go. You want to know how to make a copy of the spreadsheet Mark sent, and then share it with your advisory class. Otherwise, you're in the wrong place. Opening up Google Chrome, I'm going to maximize everything here. I'm going to start off by going over to my mail. And in my email, I have two things starred. First, I want to show the mistake that sparked a lot of this right here. Mark yesterday sent out an email um, saying that I can help with the Google Doc for conferences. And then if you look below, he showed a copy of the email I sent out to all my advisory teachers. And that email has an active hyperlink that will take you straight to my Google spreadsheet. Problem is, you don't want my Google spreadsheet because my Google spreadsheet is only for my parents to sign up on, my students' parents. You want to create your own Google spreadsheet. So let's go see how to do that. Back here, and this is the original email Mark has sent out, and I will include the link here in the email I send out with this video. So I click on it, and I go down. He's inserted a Google uh, Drive spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up here by clicking on the pencil that allows me to edit it. Now this is a blank template. Nobody's on it. Nobody's written anything on it. And that's the way it should be. What I want to do though is I want to make this usable specifically for me. So I'm going to first go to File, click File, and then I'm going to scroll down about one third of the way to make a copy. Now I'll give it a unique name, and unique name, sorry, I'll give it an unique name. I won't really because I've already given, <laughs> I've done this once, so I'm going to make a silly name, Chow Miller Super Schedule. I want to save it to my drive unless you've got a specific folder. Um, my drive should be good enough for now. And click OK. Now what's happened is I have um, the original here, which I will now close. I have this one, this is Chow Miller Super Schedule. It also has the name over here. And it looks exactly the same. So now what I'll do is because I want to get these conferences done with, I'm going to modify it. And I'm allowed to modify this because this is now my copy. This is not the one Mark sent out. So this won't change anybody else's. This will only change my copy. If I want to do a 7 a.m. conference on Wednesday and Thursday, that's great. Some parents work all day that early conferences work for them. Let's say that, I don't know, I wanted to be here late Friday night. I can go ahead and open those up. I don't know why you do that, but you know, you have that option now because this is yours. Now that this is yours, we want to be able to share this with everybody in your advisory that wants to get a copy. So the way we're going to do that is by going over here to file in the top left. No, pretend I didn't say that coming over here to the blue share button in the top right. Right now it's private to only me. Click on that share button and it pops this up. I'm going to always go to advanced when I get here because it gives you more options. And it says three things. The link, who has access, and then it'll say the type of access in a minute. So I'm going to click change on who has access. I'm going to say anyone with this link can have access to this spreadsheet. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change the type of access so that they can edit. That means they can put their names on it. That's all it is. So I want people to be able to write in their own names on the different times. So I'll click Save. And then it's still highlighted is this link up here. I'm going to go right click and copy that. And then I'm done. I can close that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Drive, and I just want to show you this in action. Um, this is my actual one that I made yesterday, and you can see that I've had parents sign up on this. Right, and I can see that um, it tells you who's on this. So Matt Creaser is on this, so he has um, probably gotten on here by accident making that same mistake I was talking about earlier, so we can talk to him. Can I message him? No, I can't message him. There probably is a way uh, to message him, but I don't want to mess with that right now. So um, this is the way it should look, and this is what we want to get uh, shared with all of our parents. 
So now I'm going to come over here to Skyward, and I've already signed in. I'll go down to Teacher Access, and then choose My Classes. I will then choose, let me see if I can make this a little bit easier to read. I'll choose Class Options. Under Class Options, I want to go to Message Center. And I will add a message for the current class. Message summary up here is going to be conferences. I'm going to open up the toolbar, so I've got a few more options here. And then over here, you cannot use a right click and paste, so I'm going to do Command V to paste that link that we saved earlier to the um, Google Drive spreadsheet. Now I'm going to go down back to my mail. And I'm going to look, Mark already sent the mail, the email. He already wrote it. So you just have to copy it. Right click copy. Back here to the messages. Click over here and now command V to paste. But if we look very closely at this message, we'll notice that there's some asterisks here. He had two kind of templates for the message. One, if you're going to include a list of times and have them email you back, that's the long way to do it. Or if you've shared the Google Doc, which is what we're doing now. So I can just kind of delete that. Boom. Now I'm going to do one last thing here. I have shared a Google Doc. Well, that's good. I'm going to highlight the link to the Google Doc. Click Command X. That is the same thing as cutting. I'm going to come down here to that line and I'm going to highlight it. I'll try that again. I'm going to highlight it. And then I will scroll up a little bit, find the link. It always looks like a chain. Click that link. Command V. I'm now pasting that link on the highlighted text. I click OK. And now that text becomes an actual active link to your spreadsheet. So basically this email says, hey parents, Here's a spreadsheet to sign up for Google uh, for, for conferences. You will find there are some parents who try this on their phone, and if they don't have Google, Drive, Google spreadsheets on their phone, it won't work. That's okay. They'll email you back, and you can add their names. Down here, once again, you keep the date. I post, I post, I allow, I allow. I click this one because I, I want my email. And I want my email um, posted for students. I will post to the calendar. You know, the more communication we have available, the more people are going to get this in one way or another. I will send this as email. I will send this as email to students. I will send this as email to guardians. The reason I email students is because some students have parents that don't speak English, and I'm totally monolingual. A really, really bad, horrible thing I'm ashamed of, but I, I took Latin in high school, so there's the nerd aspect. Um, and there you go. I think everything's good. I will click here and add Mark's name to the additional recipients because I'm a sycophant. Uh, that's up to you if you want to do that. And then you're done. It should already have um, everybody checked in your class. I can't see why you would want to not send it to somebody. <laughs> and then up here, you would click Save, and it would actually, as soon as you click Save, it sends the email out. So what will happen is all your parents in your advisory class will receive an email, and that email will say, please sign up on this spreadsheet for um, for a conference and it should work pretty well for you. I sent mine out last night at about eight o'clock and I got six people signed up for my conference already. And that should be all there is to it. If you need more help, see myself, see Mr. Mathis, see Mr. Barnes, see any other teacher that says they are Miss Mesa, see any other teacher that says they're available to do this. All right. Thank you so much guys. Take care.